Hello and welcome to Infinity. I was asked whether you could change, not only change the colour of a dress, but also change it with a pattern on it. So this is my go at doing that. It's not something I normally do, but it's, it was an interesting challenge. So start off, I'm going to go File New and just take whatever comes up because I'm going to go to Stock Photographs here type in red dress to search for something and we'll use this one down here because it's got a reasonable contrast to make the selection easier. Document clip canvas fits the canvas to the picture and the first thing you want to do is select the dress and that should be reasonably easy though this always bits but somehow it doesn't work. Let's have snap to edges on please. Thank you. That's better. And when we can go around here, see these dark bits here, the ones which start getting, see down there, that get missed. But this is not an exercise in selection, so I'll, I'm not going to go completely bonkers about it. But let's try and get what we can so it looks reasonable. When we've got enough there, I'm going to turn snap to edges off and zoom in a bit there. Make sure I've got the area selected there. So there's a bit there, so I need to alt paint on that to select that. Let's make the brush a bit smaller. So here we go. And then I need to go down into here. So again, alt painting here to let the leg come down. This, this is just with a, a mouse. If you've got a tablet, this sort of thing is usually a bit easier. And just get that in there. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. There we go. And you can usually go around the edge and tidy up all that lot there but that's okay for now. We could do a refine on it and check there's any little bits there. See there's a bit there that's a bit of background so I'll paint that out and preview this because it's red on red it's probably better to do transparent looking for things like bits of skin and stuff like that there so you can say that is background so I can paint that one out and that's okay. I'm going to output with this to a mask and we'll see why in a moment. Let's go to layers so we can see what's happening. So there's a mask against this. I'm going to take the mask and drag it right down to the bottom so it's kind of out of the way, it's not doing anything, because so I can use it in a minute. Next thing I want to do is get the pattern in. Normally you get in a, 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 an image of, of a, a fabric or something like that, but I'm just going to put in a pixel layer above there, go to filters, noise and Perlin noise and here we can play around with this until we get something that's good enough. Well that's okay we'll do that. We'll apply that so that's going to be that. I'm going to change the colour of it so I'll put in a recolor. It's a bit bright isn't it? Let's make it green. Make that a bit not quite so saturated and somewhat darker. So a nice dark green. There we go that'll do. And now then we want to get the dress going. So I want to get this mask. So I drag the mask up to the pixel layer and there you go. Now that's fitting on top of that. What we'll see with, with this here, the moment we do this is look at this, we can see where there's some bits to tidy up. See there? So I need to click on the mask there and uh, go to a paintbrush and it's going to be only be white on that. So I can I can paint in there. I've got about yeah, middle opacity and hardness and just go around and any of these things here like down there you need to fill this, fill this in a bit here. Hit X to switch over and paint in bits. Just go around say tidying up the bits that you miss off and so on. Okay, that's enough. I could spend all day doing this. But we've got the shape there, but we now want to have the, if you like, the black and white on it. 
So I'm going to go to the bottom layer again, hit Control J to duplicate that and drag that up to the top. So we've got the original picture here. Now I want to make this black and white. In particular I want to get, make it go to grey. So I'm going to go to HSL, turn the saturation down. So a lot of the colour is grey and where the saturated colour is and the rest is is the sort of blacks and light colours. So we're going to then, you know, as you can see on here, we're going to put this, make this here because it's grey. I can do an overlay on there and there you go. Look, it's, it's doing this, but it's done the rest of the picture as well. I want to get that back to normal. So let's have another copy of the mask. Hit Control J there, drag that up to that one up there. So there you go, that's only masked in the dress. So this is pretty good. One more thing here we can do to make this a little bit a bit fancier is go to this layer here and go to the life filters and go to a displace. And before I do, well, if I do this, I want to load map from layers beneath, which picks up the map of this one here. And then if I move this here, it starts moving this up and down. But also this look starts going fun here, so I want to get that mask back up to the top so it applies to this as well. But now I can literally move this to an area that shows the folds of this a little bit better. The pattern is now going up and down like perhaps it should. OK, and here, what else is there? Things like this. I can see the red on the leg there is a bit too much because that was from the other one. So what I'm going to do here is change the layer underneath, which you're going to with a just to a channel mixer. And I'm going to the red here and basically turn the reds down. So that goes down to here. But what happens here is everything goes down with it. So I'm going to if you make these add up to 100, that's the basic idea. So the whole thing adds up to 100. So I'm there. So you see it's 50 on both of them. There we go. And that leg then is a lot better. Might even pull this down and bias that a bit more. That's it. But now I'm going to hit Control I to invert that so I can just paint back on white. So again, the paintbrush, white. And I can now paint on this area here. And that's going to take the red out of it. Don't need to worry about the oversplash because there's not much red in there. Anywhere else that's like that, we can do it. So there we go. That's the final picture. And uh, we literally went from the original here. We can take off. There's the original picture. Take off the that pattern. We've got that. So we put on the shape and the pattern. And then we did all that other stuff as well. That's it and thank you very much for watching.